Not just affecting people, a highly contagious strain of dog flu is starting to spread in North Texas. Experts say it's something you need to know about, especially if you plan to board your pets in the next few weeks. It's not just flu season for you, but also your dogs. When the dogs came home from the kennel, one of them, uh, Fiona, was coughing already. Jason Smith found out after boarding his pets over Thanksgiving. I was very surprised that all three dogs had flu symptoms within 24 hours of getting back from the kennel. He's not alone. Operation Kindness, a shelter in Carrollton, had to suspend adoptions for about three weeks in November because of an outbreak at their facility. Right now we're seeing a lot of increasing cases. Dr. Jimmy Davis is a veterinarian and owner of Arlington Heights Animal Hospital in Fort Worth. What are the signs and symptoms that people need to watch out for? The nasal drainage, the ocular drainage, um, the cough is one of the biggest things that we see. Um, but it can progress to them feeling poorly and, and really um, not doing well. And if it's always, say, if it looks off, get them checked out. Definitely see your veterinarian and make sure that they're, they're um, doing okay. While most cases are mild, Dr. Davis says some can develop into more serious issues like pneumonia. He says if you're planning to board your dogs over Christmas, now is the time to get them a canine influenza vaccine. It can help stop the spread or at the very least lessen the severity of their symptoms. The timing um, is so important because their, their antibody production is, is what needs to build up. The first couple days, Monday and Tuesday, got really bad and I got real worried that Fiona might be getting pneumonia, um, but she perked up the next day and then each day after that one dog is perked up uh, after that. Now that his pets are feeling better, Smith wants to make sure they're all spreading awareness so other dog parents aren't caught off guard. Oh. Yeah. Some other things Dr. Davis says you should keep in mind. If your dogs are exposed, quarantine them because they can start spreading the virus even before they're symptomatic. And when they are sick, isolate them and keep in mind, in some cases, they can be contagious for up to three weeks. When it comes to sanitation, you need to thoroughly clean any shared spaces. And make sure you're washing your hands and your clothing because you can spread it from dog to dog as well. And if you are planning for a grooming session or boarding session, ask about vaccine protocols and sanitation practices. Know those ahead of time. And as a side note, in some cases, cats can also get sick because of this. So be sure to keep your cats away from sick dogs. So. You know, what's so interesting about that report, and I think it's so uh, informative for people, is we see pets as, as pets get to the point where they don't feel well. Yeah. But we don't think of them as getting sick like we get sick. Weather. Yeah, and they can. They can. So this is a good reminder. And it's been a problem, not just here, but really across the country. So just something to keep in mind. I know a lot of people board their pets over the holidays. This is something that you want to be proactive about. Great info.